Hi, I'm Scott Weiner, and for the last four years, I've had the honor of representing District 8 at the Board of Supervisors. District 8 includes the Castro, Noe Valley, Glen Park, Diamond Heights, parts of the Mission, and a number of other amazing neighborhoods. When I ran for office and was elected in 2010, I promised the voters that I would focus on the issues that really matter to our city and the issues that are going to determine the future of our city. I've worked, hard, I've worked very hard every day to do that since I took office, working with members of our community to move our neighborhoods forward, to move our city forward. Um, I have worked very hard and focused uh, like a laser on housing in San Francisco and particularly our housing affordability crisis. Uh, housing is too expensive in our city. We have too many evictions. We have to make sure that we're meeting the housing needs of our residents. Uh, I have been a strong advocate for investing in affordable housing. I was one of the people who put together and persuaded the voters to pass the Affordable Housing Trust Fund, which will generate $1.5 billion for affordable housing in San Francisco. Uh, I have been a leader in trying to approach housing in San Francisco differently than we have in the past because what we've been doing for decades in San Francisco hasn't worked. We haven't produced enough housing and we have created a situation where the average rent is over $3,000 a month. Uh, I authored legislation to allow people in the Castro area to add in-law units into their buildings because in-law units are the most affordable type of non-subsidized housing. I authored legislation to provide developers with incentives to build their required affordable housing on site as part of mixed income developments and to build more than the required minimum. I authored legislation to allow for smaller studios so that we're building both large units as well as small units and everything in between. I have worked very hard to put more flexibility into our housing policy so that we can meet the needs of our residents. I've also been a leader in transportation in San Francisco. I've been the leading voice in City Hall to make sure that we stop neglecting Muni and our other public transportation systems and that we invest in those systems, that we make sure that they are more reliable, that we're maintaining the systems, and that we're growing the capacity of transportation in San Francisco to meet the needs of our growing city. Uh, I, have, uh, I have fought very, very hard to protect public transportation funding and to stop the raids on those funding, which has been a, a key cause of the decline of Muni and our transit system in general. Um, I have also uh, fought very hard to make sure that we rebuild our police department, which is severely understaffed uh, due to years of not having police academy classes in San Francisco. Uh, I have fought to make sure that we are funding police academy classes, that we are regrowing our department, and as we regrow our department, we will be able to have more beat officers walking our streets, keeping our communities safe. We'll be able to have more traffic enforcement so that we have safer streets. I will continue uh, to make sure that public safety is always a top priority. Uh, I have also uh, worked very hard to represent the needs of our LGBT community. District 8 has the largest LGBT community in San Francisco, uh, and I have uh, worked with our community uh, to make sure the needs of LGBT people are being met. Uh, I authored legislation to move forward uh, uh, policies that will help our growing LGBT senior uh, population, and we continue uh, to work hard to meet the needs of our LGBT seniors. I obtained funding to build more housing in Upper Market uh, for LGBT uh, youth, uh, particularly at-risk youth, to make sure that kids uh, have a chance to succeed. Um, and I also, every year, work hard to protect HIV services. Uh, and when we receive cuts from the federal government for HIV services, uh, I have helped lead the way to make sure that we backfill every penny of those cuts uh, in our local budget. Uh, finally, um, I have uh, worked hard with the community to make sure that we improve our public spaces in San Francisco. Uh, we worked hard together to move Dolores Park into a long overdue renovation. We've renovated Glen Canyon and other parks in our district. I authored the legislation to save the Noe Valley Farmers Market by acquiring that site, and I obtained the funding to double the width of the Castro Street sidewalks. It has been a deep honor to represent District 8 at the Board of Supervisors. Um, I have worked hard every day to justify the public's trust that I have been given, and I ask for your support to continue this work.
Thank you.